डोंट वेस्ट टाइम एंड एनर्जी इन ओवर थिंकिंग अबाउट फ्यूचर स्पेशली वेन आई टॉक अबाउट वट आई शुड बी डूइंग फॉर द लास्ट मोमेंट एटलीस्ट वन पेपर शुड हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो जे मेन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर जनवरी अबाउट टू अराइव and you all must be well set with your preparation you all must be giving final touch to your preparations with some queries with some anxieties with some questions sir what i should be doing for the last moment how i should be planning my studies for last 10 to 12 days what should be my strategy to attempt the test paper to answer all these questions and to relax you we at allen overseas have brought last moment tips and strategies for j main 2024 January attempt. In this whole video, I will be guiding you around the three sections that I have divided it into. What are those three sections? First section will be what you should be doing before the exam. Obviously, everything that you will be doing you, during your exam will depend what you have done before the exam. So, how you should prepare before the exam, what you should be doing during the exam, and what you will be doing after the exam. These all things I will be covering in this video. So, let's start with the first part. that before the exam what you need to do what to do before the exams so obviously there is quite common thing that you all have been doing for your preparation for your je what is that study you don't need to stop studying right you need to keep studying and after studying you need to make sure that you don't forget it so what you need to do you need to do continuous revision especially formulas of physics and chemistry you need to revise them regularly otherwise you will forget them after studying and after doing revision obviously what you need to do you need to practice the topic wise questions whatever topic you have studied you need to revise it and you need to practice the questions of it now you must be thinking sir it is quite obvious why you had to highlight it in this video i am highlighting it because sometimes students think that they are well set and they directly pick the past year questions they start solving them and when they can't solve it they become less confident they start coming to the teachers sir i can't solve the past year questions didn't you teach well is my preparation not going well what is wrong with me so there is only one thing which is wrong with you if you are not able to solve past year questions that your concepts from the topics are weaker so you need to study you need to well prepare your topics first you need to make sure that before attempting the past year questions you are well equipped with the knowledge of the topics so that's why study revision and topic wise practice is must before going for past year papers and all the mock test once you are done with this thing you need to continue it every day but once you are done with this thing you must be thinking sir okay i will study but study what what are the topics so obviously i am not going to give you any uh, past year analysis that you should be uh, giving your uh, full attention to this particular topic and this particular topic should be left no i will give you a broad idea that what should be the must do topics that you should definitely do before you go for the exam okay so there will be some must do topics that i am going to guide you about like in chemistry i have divided it in all the three sections of the chemistry organic chemistry in organic chemistry and physical chemistry in the organic chemistry you should not leave goc you should not leave hydrocarbons you should not leave alkyl halides you should not leave aromatic compounds you should not leave amines and there are some miscellaneous topics that you should not be leaving what are the miscellaneous topics like you can include name reactions in them some name reactions i have included in more topics also like haloform reaction it can also be considered as a name reaction right tollens test fellings test lucas test 24 dnp test and all other tests in the poc obviously these are also the parts of poc you should not be leaving that because poc is very important chromatography quantitative and qualitative analysis of organic compounds williamson's ether synthesis reduction and oxidation in biomolecules you must be thinking sir it is the whole organic chemistry no it is not the whole organic chemistry i have not included many parts but these are some must do topics that you should be doing before going for the real je main exam after this you should what you should be doing in inorganic chemistry coordination compounds chemical bonding and periodic table after that when you come to physical chemistry structure of atom thermodynamics liquid solutions electrochemistry ionic equilibrium these topics are must do topics for you especially when i talk about structure of atom and thermodynamics i uh, stay for some time on these topics and i tell my students that structure of atom and thermodynamics are also going to be asked to you in the physics right atomic structure comes in the modern physics and if you are done with the atomic structure of chemistry then uh, most of the part of the bohr's model and all the parts you are prepared with for chemistry as well as physics similarly in the thermodynamics thermo 1 thermo 2 and 
thermochemistry. These are the three parts in which we teach thermodynamics at Allen. So you should be well prepared with these three parts. If you are done with this, then heat and thermodynamics of physics is also done for you. Most of the part you are done with that, right? So when you are doing these two chapters from physical chemistry, you are also doing these two chapters for physics. That is regarding chemistry. Let's go in the physics. What should be the must do topics in physics? You can see modern physics, kinematics, current electricity, gravitation, semiconductors, EMW, heat and thermodynamics, electrostatics, magnetic effects of current, EMI and AC, ray optics, Newton's laws of motion, work power and energy. These are must do topics before your exam. And I just told you that modern physics will include structure of atom. Thermodynamics from chemistry will also help you to solve the problems of thermodynamics and heat in physics. So these are very important topics. Apart from that, you know, electrostatics, it has always, always been favorite for competitive exams. So you need to not leave these topics, NLM and work power energy, you know that in the mechanics, you need to study that. So you are not allowed to leave these topics. They must be done before you go for the exam. Let's go for must do topics in the mathematics. What you should be doing in the mathematics sequence and series, binomial theorem, straight line, circle, quadratic equations, conic section, permutation and combination, probability, statistics, determinants and matrices, area under the curve, functions, vector algebra, 3D geometry, differential equations and definite integration. These are the must do topics, especially this vector algebra and 3D Geometry has always been my favorite when I used to be a student and this is very simple part although these all are must do topics but I told you what is my favorite but you should be doing all of them you should not just be doing this right so these are must do topics in mathematics we won't talk much about topics because I'm assuming you all are already prepared with the topics and you all just need final touch to your preparation so what you should be doing after studying the topics let's discuss that particular thing what should be the strategy for mock test and PYPs? What do we mean by PYPs? Past year papers. So mock tests are a little different thing. They give you exposure to various different kinds of questions and PYPs are past year papers, which are the real J main exam questions. You should be practicing both of them. At least one paper should be solved every day. And while you are solving this paper, there is very important and effective strategy that I'm going to give you right now that you must follow without, without even thinking about it, do not follow it. Okay. So what are the things that you need to follow during attempting uh, mock tests and past year papers every day when you are practicing? First thing, generally students do what? When they appear in the test paper, any test paper, they start solving from the very first question since uh, it is a digital exam and you are very lazy to scroll down to the questions further right this happens with most of the students or they will ma maximum what a student can do is they will go in their favorite section and they will start attempting that particular subject don't do it if you have heard there there used to be an old strategy that you might have heard at school uh, when you used to get a hard copy of your test paper teachers used to tell you that please go through the paper once and then solve only those questions that you can do isn't it that strategy is never old like we say old is gold so that strategy you need to follow in this exam also although it is a digital exam but be generous i have added that point here also you need to at least give 15 to 20 minutes of your uh, time to test paper analysis during the exam. Now, while you will be analyzing those 75 questions that you want to attempt in JE main, you will definitely be finding four to five questions that you can answer orally without using your pen, right? So while you are analyzing the test paper in initial 15 to 20 minutes, you will also be done with four to five questions, which you could answer orally in, especially in physics and chemistry, you will find such questions, right? That you can answer orally without using your pen. So such questions you will answer and you will come back to your favorite subject quickly after analyzing the paper. Now, see, once you are done with this analysis, what you are having in your hands, you are having almost four to five questions already solved. That means almost 20 marks you have already scored without any negative mark. And apart from that, you also know that where are those hidden questions which will work uh, for you when you will have last 15 minutes, last 20 minutes remaining during exam. When your invigilator will say last 15 minutes for the exam, what you will be doing? You will quickly choose those questions which you had analyzed in the starting that you know that those questions will consume lesser time and will give you more marks, right? So uh, whatever is your favorite subject, mathematics, physics and chemistry, I won't tell you what to attempt first. You can go with any of your favorite subject, but 
you, you, if you are done with the analysis, you will be knowing that where are the easier questions which are less time consuming. So you must do test paper analysis in the starting. Give a little time to the questions to know that where are the hidden questions. Students, in every test paper, I'm telling you, there are at least 50 to 60% questions which are very easy and every student can solve. You just need to select those questions. You just need to learn to pick those questions and this strategy never fails. Now see, once I have told this, you will be thinking, okay, I will do this during the exam. No, you don't need to do this during exam directly. You need to do it every day when you are preparing, when you are practicing mock tests and fasting papers. You need to be habitual with this strategy. It is not as easy as it looks like. You may be thinking, oh, I can do it. It's not so easy to change your habit of attempting an exam, right? So you need to change your habits from right today onwards. And for that, you will have to just test this strategy once. Please do this and you will see how many marks you find improved. All right. So you will follow this strategy every day while practicing past few papers and mock tests and you will definitely see the improvements in your performance in the exam. After this, there is something which you have been uh, listening since your childhood, but you have not been taking seriously. What is that? It is health. Health is really the wealth. And when I talk about health, it is both physical and mental health. Physical health, why it is important? Because if you won't be well physically, you won't even be able to appear in the exam and all the preparation that you have done for last two years or maybe one year, that will go in vain. Right. So you need to be physically fit, you need to eat right, you need to give at least 15 to 20 minutes to your body every day for some stretching exercises you may do. You may do uh, pranayams for your health, you may do some breathing exercises to refresh yourself. And especially when you talk about mental health, you need to meditate for 5 to 10 minutes to make your brain refreshed. You need to think lesser what will happen about future and you need to give more. So how it can be possible? It is only possible when you are physically and mentally fit. So you need to take it very seriously that you should be very fit. So once we are done that what you should be doing before the exam with the test paper, with the past year papers, what should be the must do topics, we have what not to do. What you should not be doing, first thing that I have already told you, don't waste time and energy in overthinking about future. What will happen to my future? Which college I will be getting? How much marks will be uh, sufficient for me to get oh, so and so college? Don't waste your time in this by sitting in your chair. This happens when you are seated in your chair in midnight at 2 a.m. You may be thinking that I will get into IIT Bombay, I will get into IIT Kanpur and if I can't then I will go in so and so NIT and if I can't then I will go to so and so college. Stop thinking, stop investing your energy into all those things. Results will come once you invest your energy in the right direction. So this is not the time to think all these things. This is the time to invest your energy into positively studying the things, right? So study the uh, curriculum and don't waste your time and energy in overthinking. Next point, don't research about topics from internet. This is a very important point. Sometimes students quickly Google when they can't find the answers quickly. And after Googling, they get lost in the topics. They start researching about the topic. They, they open up various websites, various tabs, and they start researching about the topics. Sometimes they get distracted. They go from one topic to another topic. And like this topic wise, they keep getting connected to other topics. And like this, their time gets wasted. So. If you are, first of all, try not to Google the things, try not to go on internet, try to find the answers in your material that you have from the standard books, from your lecture notes, from your modules, try to find the answers from there only. And if you are going, then make sure that you are going only for that topic that you are looking for and invest only one minute and come back very soon. And the next, next thing, which is never old, don't give up. There must be a huge crowd of students who must be thinking like giving up. Sir, right now, I'm not prepared. I will go with the April attempt. I am not prepared at all. It's okay. It's okay to not be prepared. It is okay to uh, think that uh, what will be happening. But it is not okay to not give efforts, to not put efforts. You need to put full efforts. You don't need to give up. So don't give up and keep preparing. It's okay if you won't be able to perform well in January attempt, you have April attempt, right? But because of that, you can't stop studying, right? Whatever you study, that will be helpful in April attempt, right? So 
don't give up that is very important so these are the things that you should be doing before the exam what you should be doing during the exam a few things i have already told you like don't be grasping don't think that i will solving i will be solving every question and i will be going in my favorite subject i will do, solve the whole paper of that particular subject no don't be grasping for every question choose those questions which are giving you marks in lesser time i already told you that you will be able to find it out by analyzing the paper right so analyze the paper be generous that yeah every question can give me four marks and every question has only four marks worth so i even if i invest 10 minutes to it it is going to give me four marks even if i invest one minute to some question it is going to give me four marks so be wise during the exam that don't take it as a challenge if you can't if you can't solve a question within two to three minutes leave it don't waste time there must be many questions that you can solve within 15 to 20 seconds right so you need to pick those questions in that initial analysis of the paper so be generous and give proper time in analyzing the paper don't start counting your marks this happens right when you are solving and when you are about to solve many questions you think that now i will count my marks how much i'm able to score don't do this during the exam you have plenty of time to do this after exam dissolve yourself into the paper and avoid distractions during the exam you may start thinking about your future don't do that you need to avoid distractions you need to feel connected to the paper and dissolve yourself into it all right after this what you should be doing after the exam obviously relax for a while yeah you need to prepare for april attempt i'm not saying you should not be but relax for a while so don't worry about your exam no matter how it went you should just be taking a break after attempting the exam and relax and have some fun that particular day when you have attempted the test paper all right and you can always think about your next step from the next day so these are the points about before the exam during the exam and after the exam these things if you will be doing you will definitely be coming out with flying colors after your january attempt of J Min 2024. So, dear students, you need to be not afraid of failure. You need to be afraid of not trying. I just told you, you should be trying. You should not be giving up. And obviously, you need to face a little discomfort. Then only results come and you will be rewarded. So, these are the last minute tips and strategies from us for you. I hope they will be really helpful for you. Still, if you have any queries, any questions, you can comment below this video and we will definitely respond to you as soon as possible. For more such details, stay connected with us. Thank you so much.